Hello, everybody. This is George Ponder for WPCentral.com. Uh, Garmin Street Pilot, it's been out for a while. It's a popular navigation application for your Windows phone. It was recently updated and brought a ton of new features to the app. Thought we'd compare it side to side. I've got the old version of Garmin Street Pilot. It, it's several versions ago running on the Samsung Focus and the latest version running on the HTC Titan. We thought we'd give you a perspective on where this application is, has come. Main menu, you've laid out, I mean, the application itself is laid out fairly close to the same. You've got suggestions, where to, and this is your main navigation page. You still have uh, your address location. You can go home, Google search, your favorites, search for food and uh, hotels. But one big tile that jumps out right from the start is Foursquare integration. You can check in and out with Foursquare through Garmin now. So there's no need to exit, go into your Foursquare app. You got it right there with Street Pilot. You also have a, a trip planner where you can plan a route with multiple stops. You can save that trip, pull it back up for easy reference. It's a nice tool when you're routing multiple stop plans. Get into the settings. Look at the differences here. Your general settings still have the set home location. You have your social networking option where you enter your Facebook and Foursquare login information. You do have uh, it, Street Pilot now uses the warning, the no, the warning, the compass. As far as sound and display, you've got uh, still have voice direction, speed limit alert, but voice personality is something new. You've got a couple of choices: the American English, uh, Samantha and Michelle are preloaded. But hit the plus sign, you can download additional voices. Everything from Yeti to a squirrel. Navigation. You still optimize uh, routes for car or motorcycle, pedestrian. You do have vehicle choices where you can pull up different icons for your uh, vehicle. You've got a handful of preloaded. And again, if you don't like what you see, just hit the plus. And you've got additional vehicles you can download from Garmin. Everything from SpongeBob to Star Wars to uh, uh, Diamond Ring. Pretty decent selection. You also have public transportation that can now be list, viewed on the map, showing your public transportation access points. Still have avoidances and the option to navigate while the screen is locked. Going over to map layers, a lot more layers involved now. Notably, you've got 3D buildings, a Wikipedia layer that will have Wikipedia links with certain landmarks. Again, there's your public transportation, your Foursquare, and your Facebook layers. Uh, distance units, temperature units are still the same. And we're back to general. Take a look, quick look at the maps. A few cosmetic changes. I like the uh, 2D maps myself. You can see redraw times a little bit quicker. A lot quicker than the old. I'm running off Wi-Fi. But the general layout, there's, like I said, cosmetic differences here and there. I like the new version. Now it's Garmin Street Pilot. There is a trial version available over at the marketplace. A full version will run you $29.99. It's available over at the marketplace, and we will have the marketplace links in the post.